Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from November 6th to the 12th, 2023. Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, November 6th to the 12th, 2023. Money and career for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, beautiful energies and your kind well wishes. I am much better. Thank you for that. And happy birthday to all November Scorpios and October Scorpios. Uh, there is a true beautiful connection with Scorpio. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to all. Um, watch until the end for the magic word to put your name in the hat for November reading, uh, for November free readings, two more free readings. And I join me live. I have a lot of information. Sorry about that. I usually like to start my readings a little faster. But anyway, join me live uh, today, November 3rd. And if not, you'll catch the the stream uh later on join me today uh for a peek at 2024 i'm going to try to do all signs as well as announcing the two free readings the two names all right Oop, let me get the light on so hopefully i'm hoping you connect you can connect on the third friday the third which is today Let's see what energies we have. Scorpio, weekly, money and career. For anyone that hasn't checked the other readings out, there's a love reading for Scorpio up now. And there's an energy reading. Uh, all those were pretty much attempts to do a peek at 2024 but it's a love and an energy reading if you're interested in taking a look at those they're very interesting readings if you haven't uh checked them out yet here you go scorpio king of cups there you are thinking <laughs> thinking intuitively moving forward Step by step, slowly but surely, finding the answers, slowly but surely, Scorpio, you know, stabilizing your energies. And with this king of, sorry, I just want to put these straight, so there, with this king of cups, You've learned to filter, learn to understand, to assimilate, to process, right, without emotions without getting over triggered or overwhelmed right you know now that this path is complicated transformation complicated um and now you're working step by step towards this new journey you're committed your understanding and you're going to take your time i feel like you will do this whatever it is right whether it's changing careers moving getting that job uh finally understanding where you are what you want what you want to transform right it's going to be different that goal is different for each and every one of us but the way you get there right is by utilizing your intuition but as much as before, Scorpio, you were a bit all over the place with your emotions, triggered right, left, and center, a bit confusing, not knowing what to do, where you were, and your decisions were might have been a little rash as you transformed, as you um, entered that wash cycle, rinse cycle that was so complicated. That was all for you 
to understand how to balance your emotions, to receive energies and to process them and to be able to um, stay calm, serene, and understand that not everything or not all energies or words or um, opinions are there to attack you, right? I think that is something you've assimilated. And it has been a while, right? So you, I think you're back into your um, a certain emotional stability that gives you empathy again and generosity with your time, your words, listening to others, helping others, right? But not giving your energy away, right? you're much more serene and calm and stable. But with this high priestess, it's still waiting for answers and still understanding that no matter how hard you work, no matter how dedicated you are, slowly but surely, you know the answer of that thing that you want so bad or that thing you don't understand or that connection you have to figure out or that moment in time where you're going to have to make a decision that is uniquely you internally. Nice. Nine of, nine of pentacles. Mm, comfortable financially. I like this, Scorpio. I like where this is going. Stability, emotional stability, and financial stability and that those are the two most important things for Scorpio to remain um, comfortable and stable and balanced security abundance and whatever security means for you yes you're keeping that to yourself you're saving money, you're not spending money all over the place, but you're also really pretty much to yourself in this situation. It's personal. It's not easy. <gasps> Here we have an offer, Scorpio. <laughs> an offer. All right, well, let's see if this offer, you're not interested in this offer, Scorpio? or you're not interested in this person coming in, or you're not interested in this connection. Let's see, this Two of Cups is, this Two of Cups is com keeps coming up in every reading. These connections, soulful connections, right? Relationships, connections, emotion, but also intellectual connections. So what is this offer all about? What are these messages all about? It's all about new emotions. Is it a new love or new messages? Messages coming in with an offer, a creative offer, a job offer? Let's see. You don't seem very interested, though, Scorpio. What's happening? You're, you're, there's a certain disconnect there. Why are you disconnecting? Nope. Oh, these. Okay. Seven of Cups confused. Okay, so this is an option among others. I think you're looking at financial abundance, whatever offer has the most money, whatever offer gives you financial stability, right? And then you have this choice. Yet another choice, yet another decision. But, you know, all day, every day we have decisions and we have the strength card. Hang in there, Scorpio. Well, but you have everything you need, Scorpio. You have the knowledge. You have the strength. You have the intuition. You have the empowerment, the emotion, stability. Stability is key. Stability and understanding is key. Maybe this offer is opening up to another world and you're not ready. It's possible because the high priestess is, yes, understanding, understanding that all changes are now within. No one from the outside world is really going to help you on this. Or, I mean, you can't fix it or it's not someone's opinion or someone's knowledge or someone's help or something, right? You can't pay someone to find a solution. That's what I mean, right? This 
answer or decision or solution comes uniquely from within because it's all about you, your emotions and your mindset right now and where you stand, your belief system and what you want to move forward and how you want to resolve and make things happen. And this disconnect here sometimes is, you know, really understanding that, you know, you, you don't want it that way. You want it your way, Scorpio, right? But not everything goes your way. You're sort of bored with that offer or bored with the job or bored with the situation. And you want to move forward in something more comfortable financially, maybe more exciting. But with a strength card, that means that if you move towards that, right, whatever you choose, you're saving your money you're, it's going to demand a lot of strength, a lot of inner strength, human spirit, right? That ability to overcome obstacles. It's really about knowing you can endure life's obstacles, right? And so you have that great stamina and that persistence and that balance here, right? That inner calm. And you're committed. You're committed to do whatever it needs to be done. Showing composure, maturity. Look at all these cards, right? You're, you're really reaching a state of higher awareness by learning to express your raw emotions constructively, to express yourself in a calmly manner, right? Fear and ego are gone. It's all about you processing your emotions, understanding, and enabling you to power forward in a calmer way. I really feel like you've, I mean, and I've said this many, many times, Scorpio. So if you've, you've uh, watched any of my readings before, it's really this whole transition, this whole um, um, energy that was so complicated and so, and, and still, and still, is really about you discovering how to channel your power and your emotions or channel your power all while uh, processing your emotions. <coughs> Give me one moment. And this is just a weekly reading. <laughs> all right. I hope to see you Friday the 3rd for the live. All right, you will see my hands. <laughs> but I hope to see you all, or at least whoever can. I realize it's complicated to find a time for the whole world, really. That's for sure. So I figured noon is the best bet, Eastern Standard Time. And I will keep everything up and everybody will be able to check it out in on their own schedule. All right. Yes, on the defense. Okay, on the defense, but empowered. Aries Leo Sag, doesn't have to be. I feel like this is you, this king of wands. Empowered, constructive, making things happen, pushing forward, getting that job, getting those, situ that, those projects up and going, putting yourself out there. Go for it, Scorpio, go for it. That's what the King of Wands is all about. Putting your power forward. Showing the world who you are. Right? And I think I've said that a million times already. Right? Because, because you were so stagnant. Because you were so, um, so in hermit mode and hibernating for such a long time. This energy... <clears throat> is now inspiration. A little bit impulsive maybe, right? But I think that you're now um, understanding that it's all about you. You're the one building. You're the one that's pushing, you know, that, that can wake up in the morning and be optimistic and confident. 
and motivated. Action, action, forward, Scorpio. I feel like you get back into that fearless mode, right? Get back into that free thinking mode, that daring mode where to do whatever you want and taking control of your life. And you don't dare, you dare to be different than anybody else, right? You don't care what people think, Scorpio. Push, push, push. Now I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> there you are, creative empathic you're there you know how to create you know how to um transform and also be there for others you're a beautiful empath scorpio and i know you've hid for a long time now's the time to come out now's the time to come out you have a page of page of wands king of wands uh king of cups if you have this page of wands that's excitement again right starting new being excited again about projects, being excited to work on specific things, right? Being curious again. I keep saying that all the time, wanting that new adventure, that those fresh ideas. Again, something is within you that triggers to triggers you to make new discoveries, right? This is your next move. This is your next idea. This is your next job. You want to be discovered. And it's all about the inner battles, Scorpio, of preventing you from expressing yourself the way you used to. And you know you don't want to go there anymore. But show your talent to the world. Let the world know you exist. You're wise. Right? You can overcome your doubts and your fears. Conquer these obstacles. Let your ideas shine, Scorpio. Let your ideas shine. Is it easy? No. And I always say that. No. But exist, Scorpio. Put yourself out there. Come on. And is there another card here? Let's see if there's one more card in this deck. You have the Empress. Creating, understanding, growing. You are growing in your new energy, in your new self. Your new sense of yourself. And yes, some days it's confusing. And yes, some days we don't understand. And yes, some days we feel frustrated. And we feel it's not moving forward. But look at this. Page, page, page. Money, empowerment, building, creating. Pages are all about believing in oneself, right? Because it's fresh. And it's almost like that naivete, right, of, you know, of a child or a teenager. We have everything to build. It's a blank slate. We don't know what's going on. We, it's almost like obstruct yourself. Obstruct, is that the word here? I don't know. Protect yourself from the outside world for one minute, right? Take a moment to sit still, relax, and, you know, ground yourself right now. Take a moment and imagine you're the only person, right? There's no chaos in the world. There's stability, love, and, and energies that are calm and serene, yet creative, People are out to create. People want to connect and want to be uh, inspired again. So ground yourself and put yourself in that energy of someone that's never worked before. And I, I know that most of you on this channel, I see the age groups. It's not the young adults. It's you know, it's older, which makes sense, right? Uh, most of you have already had career paths, several career paths, a lot of changes, a lot of complications, or a lot of ups and downs, and you have all histories here and experiences, good ones, bad ones, medium ones, right? Whatever. Um, 
But here, I feel like it's important to look at this next path that's coming that we've been waiting for, that we know is going to switch. We know things are going to happen. We know we're going to have to make decisions. It's a big change, a big change in destiny for most of us, or a big change, whatever that means, right? Sometimes the smallest change can be very big for someone in their life, right? And so here, I feel like with these three pages, just imagine yourself with that blank slate, the ability to accomplish whatever you want. Whatever task, whatever idea, whatever creativity. You are a hardworking and dedicated person. And this dedication and this loyalty and this is, is creating your goals. And planning your strategies and just imagine your work opportunities because you have been so amazing and so dedicated and so loyal. Put yourself out there, Scorpio. You have pages. Imagine you're a teenager and you can do whatever you want. The world is open to you. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. If you're still reading, if you're still watching, and there's the tower. And not to worry, the tower, that's a bit your card as well, right? But not to worry, um, everybody's getting the tower. I think every single reading has had the tower and the two of cups so far. Amongst other things, probably. But, yeah, the Empress comes out. And the Empress hadn't, did, wasn't coming out too much the past months. So it's all about growth. Understanding. To see things in a different way. And I think we're all in that same, in that same bunch. Seven of Pentacles... Stability, long-term stability, financial sustainability here. Wheel of Fortune, absolutely amazing. See, all this is coming together, those synchronicities, that luck. But because of your hard work, because of your, lo your loyalty and your dedication, that's who you are, Scorpio. You've invested a lot. These are the results coming because you have persevered. And the strength card again. Because you have persevered, because you are gaining control, because you are gaining understanding of who you are in this world. I feel like a preacher, <laughs> Scorpio. That's what you make me do, Scorpio. Oh, my. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Uh, please stop by November 3rd, Friday, noon Eastern Standard Time for a peek at 2024, as well as uh, the names of of the two free readings the word here the magic word here scorpio is power go for it scorpio power so comment down below put the word power down below in the comment section and put your name in the hat for the free readings for november and i will announce the two names Friday, the 3rd of November, on a live. I hope to see as many as can be on the live. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and again, check out the other readings because there's an energy reading, a love reading, uh, all these readings that I did for a peak at 2024 and quite frankly didn't come out that way. But I'm very happy because I was able to share some more energies with you. Thank you so much for watching Scorpios. Take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.